Hello my creative friends, Olga from Smart Art Materials here and today I'm gonna show you how to create Sakura Cherry Blossom and Mount Fuji Fluid Painting. As you know, I love working in acrylic pouring technique and today's video is very special for me. We have beautiful, warm and sunny spring here in Vancouver this year. Everything is flowering and blossoming all around. And this beautiful springtime has inspired me so much and I created uh, several blooming and floral fluid paintings. And today's video is just the first one out of this series. These are the colors that I'm using today and to find out exact colors, brands and the recipe of how I mix my paint with Floyd Troll, check out the description under the video. And this is my pouring container that you see in all of my pouring videos. And it looks like a mess, but it's actually extremely handy and has a lot of different benefits. If you want to make one for yourself, um, on my website I have a detailed do-it-yourself step-by-step guide. So check out this link in the corner and I'm also going to add it in the description. Alright, let's get started. For the first part of today's pour, I'm going to do a swipe. And if you have seen my puppy's video, you already know the idea of this technique. So first I load the canvas with base colors. And today I choose pink and red shades to create nice blooming palette. Now I load my swipe color, and normally I would swipe from top to the bottom, but today I'll go from left to the right just to be different. In Papi's pour I use paper towel, but today I want to try swiping with spatula. I'm moving slowly, keeping the spatula almost flat to the surface. I didn't add any silicone to any of the colors because I don't need any cells and I want to create a sort of a sunset sky background. Next step, pour in the Mount Fuji. And actually it's a volcano, so the top should be more flat, but my mountain decided to be sharp. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love using painting knives. I use them all the time. They are pretty versatile, not only when you're painting, but also when you work with fluid paint and need to move it around. If you don't have such knives, you can use craft sticks or just whatever you have around. But if you like such techniques when you're creating something with intention, just get yourself a set of knives. They are very handy. There is a very nice and affordable set of 5 for only 7 bucks on Amazon. So check it out, I'm going to leave the link in the description for you.
So as I blow, the top layer opens and the colors from the bottom layer show up creating these beautiful petals. I'm sorry that my head is on the way. As you can see, I'm using a metal straw. I propagandized the no waste or less waste acrylic pouring. And on my website, you can find an article with 11 practices to minimize the waste. And washable and reusable metal straws in opposite to plastic straws is one of them. It looks like the flowers are blending in together too much, so adding a darker core to make them more defined. Let me know how you like my blooming Sakura fluid painting and if you give this technique a try, please share your result in Smart Art Materials Facebook group. I hope you enjoyed today's video, give it a like if you did and please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay in touch. Thank you for watching, enjoy the spring and have fun pouring!